Hi, I'm Amit Singh, part of the product team here at BitClass, and I'm going to be showing you a demo today of how do you secure your messaging tools and prevent data loss. The two apps we'll be focusing on would be Slack and Microsoft Team. Here is a topology representation of how we will be using the BitClass reverse proxy to access these apps. Let's get started with Slack first and let's look at Slack configuration. So as you can see here, I have enterprise grid Slack with a couple of workspaces configured. I have malware protection turned on. Now let's look at the DLP patterns configured. There is the upload and download DLPs. We'll be focusing on the upload DLPs out here more specifically the PCI credit card data. So as you can see, uh, I'm masking any Slack message and blocking any upload of files containing credit card data. And I've also turned on inline notification for the same. Now we've logged in here as uh, two different users um, and we are going to basically create a scenario where we message uh, each other asking for credit card data. Now this user responds with the credit card information. As you can see, an inline notification is presented and the credit card data is masked when it's displayed on the other user's screen. So this way, no credit card or PCI data is lost. Now let's take another use case scenario. Let's say they want to try and avoid this uh, and try to pass the data in a Word document. Let's see what happens in that scenario. So here's a file being uploaded with the credit card data. And as you can see, the file upload has been blocked again due to sensitive data being detected. Now let's look at Microsoft Teams. We'll get started with the DLP policies for Microsoft Teams. Again, the DLP policies are in upload and download. We are looking specifically for upload data patterns. We are masking PCI credit card data and blocking upload and if any files. And similarly, doing an inline notification. Uh, so in similarly, we are going to log in as two different users in Microsoft Teams. And uh, the same use case scenario will be used. We will try and get share credit card data to each other using Teams in this scenario.
And as you can see, the user out here is trying to share the credit card data again. A inline notification message pops up and as you can see the credit card data has been masked. Now let's try the other scenario where they're trying to avoid, avoid or bypass this masking by using a word document. Let's see what happens again in that in scenario. As you can see, an inline notification popped up again and the uploading of a Word document with credit card data has been blocked. And that's it. Thank you again for watching.